Welcome to Maths Companion. In the last video, we have discussed some problems on page 59. There was a homework. Let us check the answer of the homework at first. In the picture, bisectors of adjacent angles of the quadrilateral ABCD intersect at PQRS. Prove that PQRS is a cyclic quadrilateral. Given that these lines are bisectors of angles A, B, C and D, we have to prove that the quadrilateral PQRS is a cyclic quadrilateral. To prove it, it is enough to prove one pair of opposite angles of quadrilateral PQRS is supplementary. Let us take angle A as A degree, B as B degree, C as C degree and D as D degree. Angle A is A degree and this is the bisector of angle A. Therefore, this angle is half A degree. That is angle DAS is half A degree. In the same way, angle D is D degree and this is the bisector of angle D. Therefore, this angle is half D degree. That is angle ADS is half D degree. Now look at triangle ADS. We know some of the three angles of this triangle is 180 degree. Therefore, angle DSA equal to 180 minus half A degree plus half D degree. Half can be taken outside and we can write angle DSA equal to 180 minus half into A degree plus D degree. Now look at these two angles, angle DSA and angle RSP. They are opposite angles, so they are equal. Therefore, angle RSP equal to 180 minus half A degree plus D degree. Now angle B is B degree and this is the bisector of angle B. Therefore, this angle, angle QBC equal to half B degree. Similarly, angle C is C degree and this is the bisector of angle C. Therefore, this angle, angle QCB is half C degree. Now, look at triangle BCQ. Some of the three angles of the triangle is 180 degree. Therefore, this angle is 180 minus half B degree plus half C degree. That is angle CQB equal to 180 minus half B degree plus half C degree. Half can be taken outside and we can write 180 minus half into B degree plus C degree. Look at these two angles, angle CQB and angle RQP. They are opposite angles, so they are equal. Therefore, angle RQP equal to 180 minus half into B plus C. Now, we got one pair of opposite angles. Let us add it together. Angle RSP plus angle RQP. That is equal to 180 minus half A degree plus D degree plus 180 minus half B degree plus C degree. 180 plus 180 is 360. Minus half can be taken outside and we can write 360 minus half into A plus D plus B plus C or A plus B plus C plus D. Now, what is A plus B plus C plus D? These are the four angles of the quadrilateral ABCD. And we know some of the four angles of a quadrilateral is 360 degree. So, we can write 360 minus half into 360. Half into 360 is 180. 360 minus 180 is 180. That is angle RSP plus angle RQP equal to 180 degree. That means one pair of opposite angles of this quadrilateral PQRS is supplementary. Therefore, PQRS is a cyclic quadrilateral. Now let us do the remaining problems on page 60. The two circles below intersect at P, Q and lines through these points meet the circles at A, B, C, D. The lines A, C and B, D are not parallel. Prove that if these lines are of equal length, then A, D, B, C is a cyclic quadrilateral. 
given that ac and bd are not parallel we have to prove that if ac equal to bd then ab dc is a cyclic quadrilateral first of all let us join p and q let us take angle a as x degree then what is angle b q p angle a b q p is a cyclic quadrilateral therefore the opposite angles are supplementary therefore angle b q p equal to 180 minus x degree now look at these two angles they are in a linear pair their sum is 180 degree therefore this angle p q d equal to x degree because 180 minus x plus x equal to 180 now look at quadrilateral p q d c it's a cyclic quadrilateral therefore the opposite angles are supplementary if angle p q d is equal to x degree then angle c equal to 180 minus x degree now look at these two angles angle a is x degree angle c is 180 minus x degree angle a plus angle c is x degree plus 180 minus x degree x minus x is 0 therefore we get angle a plus angle c equal to 180 degree that is angle a and angle c are supplementary look at these two angles angle a and angle c they are the co-interior angles formed when the lines a b and c d are intersected by the line a c if they are supplementary then these two lines a b and c d are parallel therefore we can say a b and c d are parallel a b and c d are parallel that means one pair of opposite sides of quadrilateral a b d c is parallel that means it is a trapezium now we got a b d c is a trapezium now if a c and b d are equal a b c d becomes an isosceles trapezium and we know isosceles trapeziums are cyclic so we can say if ac equal to bd then it is a cyclic quadrilateral now the next part of the problem in the picture the circles on the left and the right intersect the middle circle at pqrs the lines joining them meet the left and right circles at abcd prove that abdc is a cyclic quadrilateral let us join PQ and RS at first. Now let angle A equal to X degree. ABQP is a cyclic quadrilateral. Opposite angles are supplementary. Therefore, angle BQP equal to 180 minus X degree. These two angles are in a linear pair. Therefore, their sum is 180 degree. Since this angle is 180 minus X degree, this angle is x degree that is angle pqs equal to x degree now pqsr is a cyclic quadrilateral the opposite angles are supplementary since angle pqs equal to x degree angle prs equal to 180 minus x degree now these two angles are in a linear pair their sum is 180 degree since angle PRS equal to 180 minus X degree, angle SRC equal to X degree. Now RSDC is a cyclic quadrilateral. Opposite angles are supplementary. Since angle SRC equal to X degree, angle D equal to 180 minus X degree. Now look at the quadrilateral ABDC. Angle A and angle D are one pair of opposite angles let us add the angles together angle a is x degree and angle d is 180 minus x degree therefore angle a plus angle d equal to x plus 180 minus x x minus x is 0 therefore we get angle a plus angle d equal to 180 degree that means one pair of opposite angles of the quadrilateral abdc is supplementary therefore the quadrilateral abcd is a cyclic quadrilateral next problem in the picture 
points P, Q, R are marked on the sides B, C, C, A, A, B of triangle A, B, C and the circumcircles of triangle A, Q, R and triangle B, R, P are drawn. M is a point where these circles intersect. Prove that the circumcircle of triangle C, P, Q also passes through M. Here the circumcircles of triangle AQR and triangle BRP intersect at M. Let us join M to R, M to Q and M to P. Now quadrilateral ARMQ is a cyclic quadrilateral. If angle A equal to x degree then angle RMQ equal to 180 minus x degree. Because we know the opposite angles of a cyclic quadrilateral are supplementary. In the same way, quadrilateral BPMR is another cyclic quadrilateral. If angle B equal to Y degree, angle RMP equal to 180 minus Y degree. Now there are three angles at the point M. We know sum of all these three angles is 360. Therefore, angle PMQ equal to 360 minus sum of the other two angles. That is angle PMQ equal to 360 minus 180 minus X plus 180 minus Y. 180 plus 180 is 360. So, this can be written as 360 minus 360 minus X minus Y. Minus into 360 is minus 360. Minus into minus X is plus X minus into minus y is plus y. So this can be written as 360 minus 360 plus x plus y. 360 minus 360 is 0. So this can be written as x plus y. That is angle PMQ equal to x plus y. Now look at triangle ABC. Angle A is x degree, angle B is y degree. What is the third angle? We know sum of all these three angles is 180 degree. Therefore, angle C equal to 180 minus angle A plus angle B. Angle A is x degree, angle B is y degree. Therefore, angle C equal to 180 minus x plus y. Now, let us add these two angles together. Angle PMQ plus angle C. Angle PMQ is x plus y. Angle C is 180 minus x plus y. x plus y minus x plus y is 0. So, we get angle PMQ plus angle C equal to 180 degree. That means sum of these two angles is 180 degree. They are supplementary. Therefore, the quadrilateral CPMQ is a cyclic quadrilateral. Now, look at the quadrilateral CPMQ and triangle CPQ. Since the quadrilateral CPMQ is cyclic, the circumcircle of triangle CPQ also passes through the point M. Today we have discussed the problems on page 60. In the next video we shall discuss the next part 2 codes. Till then, bye.